guys hi how are you welcome back to my channel i hope the lighting isn't horrible uh, hi i again haven't vlogged in a hot minute i feel like every time i say i'm gonna get back into it i feel like things just go wrong and it just doesn't work out in my favor like it's been a crazy couple of weeks amir was just sick it was crazy he spiked a fever it was really tough but he's okay now i was also sick and i'm like still kind of sick like i'm just getting over it kind of thing but what is going on today i need to clean up the nursery because it's crazy because it's been it's been a bit hectic in here also i just packed away his zero to three month clothing so he's in three to six months now and he's not even three months he'll be three months in like two days but um if you guys follow me on youtube then go watch my youtube shorts because i post there like almost every day so if i'm not posting like a big vlog i'm still posting on my youtube shorts a lot more because it's just like a lot more easier for me to do with a baby <laughs> so go watch those because i post like days in the life i post like just fun things so go check that out and make sure to like those because i work hard on them even though they're only six seconds it actually takes me a lot more it takes me literally like an hour to like just edit it alone and film it like it takes me like an hour to two hours so go check those out but anyways hello welcome back to my channel so let me show you guys the state of the nursery and then i'll probably have to take a break and pump and then go and like make his bottle and yeah okay guys so this is my nursery you guys have already seen it a million times not like in detail because i have been like hiding it a little bit because i want to do a nursery tour but i figured we could do some tidying up like here is just a little bit messy i have a bunch of co hangers on the floor that need to be picked up this is like the state of the floor i literally have co hangers from when i put away his zero to three months clothing which go watch that short the youtube short it's all on the ground and there's just like a bunch of random things on the ground so i need to deal with that and then the crib is filled with like his newborn clothes are in the top one bottom one is zero to three and then you deal with that and like deal with that <laughs> and then i have a pile of stuff that is not supposed to be in here it's like my after birth stuff like the freedom mom stuff i have like diapers for after birth that i never used and then all of his diapers that are like way too big for him and i need to like put those away and then this is his closet oh my gosh it looks so cute i literally have all of his three to six month clothing out like i've, I've had these hung up and stuff but like i'm just so excited because he gets to wear them but the only sad thing is is that when i was buying clothes it was great because i had all my clothes when he came and like everything was ready for him but i didn't exactly know when he was going to be born or exactly what the seasons were going to be i tried to like stick to it but i didn't exactly do the best job at it because i have like this it's it's going into winter it's fall right now so he can't wear this it's too cold to wear this so i'm a little nervous i'm like oh what am i gonna do and then i also have things like like look how cute these are these are so cute guys but like he can't wear this it's like literally freezing like this is like we're in like long sleeve sweater jackets like that's what we're wearing like it's that cold so it's kind of sucky because i'm like when is he ever gonna wear this the last thing i also want to tackle guys is kind of embarrassing but look at this this guys is his like baby cart and i was using it for like productive things and then i just end up throwing all his diapers there and i really hate that and i don't want his diapers to be there but i need to deal with that i like having just his diapers on in that bucket that's also on the ground that i need to deal with and that's about it i don't like all these being noticeable so we're gonna have to deal with that also guys those are literally his neck size diapers like these are all size three diapers and he's wearing size two right now like he's not gonna need it for like a bit longer i want to find somewhere to like store his diapers because he doesn't he doesn't wear them he's gonna be wearing size two till he's like 17 pounds and he's only 14 right now i'm gonna tackle this first because i want his crib to look cute these are all of his burp cloths we need to find somewhere for this that can go there for now what i've been doing with these like buckets is i've actually been like storing them under our crib just for now like i i need a long-term solution but for now that's just like the best solution that i have under the crib who's texting me bam that already cleans so much for me guys i have like bins at the top where i'm just gonna put stuff that i don't really use all the time and then I also put is like airing out extra blankets here because I have one and I, I use it for like a couple times and then I'll grab a new one. So that's there too. Look at his like big comforter. It's so cute, but it's again, it's just, it's cold, but it's not comforter weather yet. Putting all his cute stuffies in the bed. 
sometimes he takes naps in the crib but like not often but I really want to start like putting him for naps in here because it has like the camera and then I don't have to like stand there and like be worried about waking him up because he's more like sensitive to noise now so I really want to start trying to like transition him here for when he naps bed is made his stuffies are there his blankets there obviously he doesn't nap with his stuffies but I do want them there for decor and then whenever he naps I try to make sure the bed's empty because that's just how we do it we don't want them to choke on anything or suffocate now we're on the floor my favorite spot to sit is the floor who is texting me let me put my phone on vibrate Ugh, I'm gonna pick up all his coat hangers now because that's just what I gotta do I honestly hate coat hangers, they're so annoying, but like I just prefer to hang as close. I didn't realize how much work they are. Like my tripod sucks, guys. I really need a new tripod, like I just can't get angles. Look at his pile of coat hangers, guys. I have gray coat hangers because I rounded the black ones, but I don't like the gray ones. I prefer black. And then they stopped selling black, so I had to get gray. But then I realized that as he got bigger, he had less clothes hung up in his closet because I kept putting them away. So now I have too many of both. I never thought I'd have too many coat hangers in my life, but I have too many. So I'm gonna put the gray ones away and hang up the black ones. This is like the most tedious thing in the world is on hooking coat hangers and like lining them up. Don't know why I ever do this to myself. Okay, all the gray ones are collected. Yay, this will be a lot easier now. Oh, found a gray one. Yay guys, I have them all organized and now I can hang them. I swear guys, just changing the angle to the camera is what takes the longest amount of time. Co hangers are done, and that's the part I was dreading the most. Okay, guys, the next task I'm gonna bring these to my basement really quick, so I'll be right back. We have an interruption to feed the baby. Hi, this is the premium stuff, guys. I'm so upset. He just had a huge milestone. Basically, here's what happened I went downstairs to bring the stuff to the basement, and then my husband had the child and he was eating, and then he saw me and he was like, Oh, mommy, mommy, I want your attention. So I was like, Hi, and I was getting his bottle warmed, and then, um, Basically, here's what happened. Um, he was like laying on my husband's chest and one of the milestones is when they put their hands on the ground or on your chest or whatever and they lift their head up backwards. Like they lift themselves off off the ground and he just did it and I was like, ah, milestone, milestone, milestone. And I was like, where's my phone? It was upstairs. And I was like, where's your phone? And he's like, it's downstairs. And so I was so upset and then I was like running upstairs to get my phone and by the time I came back down, he stopped doing it. So that's where I'm at in life. I just missed that and I'm so sad. But I'm hoping he'll do it again today because like I want to write it down as his first time doing it. You know what I mean? I want to take a picture and it's so cool. I've been waiting for him to do this milestone. But anyways, break to feed him the premium milk pumped by his mommy. Took her forever to get for this one ball a day and he loves it. And I'm going to feed him his milk and then get back into cleaning. And I'm hoping because it's already 4.30 on the dot that I have enough sunlight to finish. But I'm like sweating. It's so hot today. And I hate that like the days I do my makeup and stuff is just so hot and I'm sweating and I feel so insecure on camera like it's just so embarrassing like I hate sweating I'm just gonna feed him his milk hang out with him for a bit put him in his bouncer and then hopefully we can get some more cleaning done so I'd like to get it all done today the nursery is just horrible and I need to deal with it and I'll talk to you guys when he's done okay guys so Amir is in the crib like he fell asleep when I was feeding him but then I put him down he was not for it but then I calmed him down and re-put him down now he seems fine but you might hear him in the background, but I figured I wanted to work on this cabinet situation. So let's tackle this. It's not too bad. I just want to kind of like organize it and make it cuter. So this is where I put like his toys and then like some storage things. Let me bring you nice and back. There is my kitty. You can see his face right there. But I keep his gray coat hangers here. As you saw, I'm just kind of fit them better. This is why I never get anything done because my baby always needs me and that's okay. I love it. Like I'm okay with it. This is just a hobby for me. One day I hope I'm famous so please subscribe. But 
it's a little hard to get filming done. That's why I've been sticking to YouTube shorts because it's like easier. But anyway, so this is like the extra coat hangers. And then this is like car toys. So it's like toys that I don't really like. I don't really like the way they look so to say. Like they're too colorful for me. So I have them in this bin and when he's older I can like take them out and like play with them. Right now he more so plays with like rattles and stuff. So that's there. And then here I have like a decoration piece. But kids actually love this like rainbow thing. Kids love it. Let me tell you. Very cute. And then I have this one. I don't know where to put that one but we'll figure it out. And then down here I just have some more toys. I don't know where all the pieces are. Oh my gosh. That there. This little bib can go there. I have like these. I have a bunch of these but... Just for now, I'll put a few there. And then I have a ball. So just a few toy options for me to play with him. And then here is like these ones. And then maybe I'll put the rainbow at the back for like cute decor. That's cute, right? Can you guys see that? On the bottom, I just have like cards for his Love Every Play Gym. So I have extra ones here. Then I have like his black and white gloves that I try to get him to wear when he's doing playtime. I'll throw those there. And here is like my storage. I'm not going to do too much to it just because it's like hidden so I don't really care. But I'm just going to go in there and I want to grab my extra nipples for him because he needs more nipples for his bottle. And then I'll put that back in there and that's good. And then up here is like, I would love to put like extra diapers. Like some of these like diapers that he's not wearing right now. Like these are his swim ones. I can throw these in there. Let's see how many I can fit. Not the cutest, but it's hidden. So who cares? And then down here, I'm just going to shove his swim diapers. Now I'm going to clean off the top of this. So this is like his like cute wall. I have a little cactus that I've had forever and I always forget to water it but it's still thriving. I'm gonna quickly water this, I'll be right back. She's watered and she's thriving. I just keep her there. I've had her for so long. Okay, that's done. I watered the plant guys, my only plant in the whole world and it hasn't died. Also guys, this is like my favorite section of the room. Anyways, this, this, I don't need to be here, but it is staying. I do need the wipe, so I'm gonna keep them here. This is like his size two diaper caddy that he wears all the time. I'll put the diapers in this, like that, how cute. This is like his overstock, and then also when I'm in the nursery, I change his diapers with this. But I'll put this over here. Now that I cleaned off this cart, this can just sit there, how freaking cute. And I can also put the burp gloss there. So I'll just rattle these up, put them there, and then when somebody needs a burp cloth, they're just tucked in to the cart. That's way more practical, like look. I have his like diapers, his wipes, and these burp cloths. I also have space like down there now where I can use for storage. And I still want to clean out down here, but still have to do that. So that's also on the list. Wow, this is looking so much better. One of the perks to having a baby is baby wipes. My life is forever changed. If I ever need to wipe anything, I got myself a baby wipe. And I spilled stuff all over here. Bam. That looks so cute, guys. Admit it. Isn't that so cute? Look. Like, that is so freaking cute. Stop. This entire shelf is done. Okay, guys. Now I need to deal with, like, this mess. Do you see this? This is, like, a bunch of, like, stuff. I never used postpartum, and I don't use these nipple pads because I don't make any milk, so that's not needed for me but uh, i do want to keep it so i can gift it to other people let's put all that stuff i brought these bags to go to the basement until i find someone who needs it into here like there's like a bunch of passies that i never ended up using for him because he likes his certain passy and these are like really expensive these freedom mom ice pads are really good stuff and then i also have these sports bras for breastfeeding but i don't breastfeed so i don't need it <sighs> I need to take some more stuff out of this closet. Like, this thing, playmat, I want to put it in my living room so that he can use it more often. Because the thing is, I keep his love every playmat upstairs in the nursery because I don't want my cat to lay on it. So this one, I don't care if my cat lays on it because it's like this fabric and I don't care. Because it wasn't like $500. My mom got it for me and I'm pretty sure she got it from a garage sale because my mom is smart. Anyone else's mom super smart and gets some like really good deals from garage sales because if yours isn't, I am lucky because my mom is. So I'm gonna put this in my living room so I can take this out of the nursery to save space. Look at this, it's so clean. And I love his little blankets, it's so clean. 
He has his baskets up there with extra storage and then all of his clothes. His books are there, his laundry basket. This is where I keep his clothes. And then over here, then right there I have a toy that I want him to play with when he's older and it's so cute. I'm so happy the closet's clean because it's been so dirty and just stuffed with like stuff that I don't even need or use. And I keep using the nursery to like hoard stuff basically. Like stuff that can go to the basement for storage. I've just been shoving it in here. Okay, I need to stop rambling. Let's finish. We're almost done. Literally, does anyone else's child literally do tummy time? I just put him on his tummy because he was fussy and he loves tummy time. And then he just fell asleep. He literally just fell asleep. He's like, I, I'm going to sleep. Good night. Don't need to talk to me. Good night. I'm having a nap. So funny. Also, guys, no, I don't just leave my baby on tummy time. I'm obviously watching him, okay? I don't just dip. I watch him because I know sleeping on your tummy is apparently like not the best, but he loves it and he's safe. I'm watching him. So yeah, also I'm so sweaty. Ew. Let's keep cleaning. Okay guys, now I'm here just playing with the toy, but the room's basically done other than me doing like detail stuff, but I'm not gonna do that on camera. Last thing I want to do is just finish cleaning the bottom of this cart. So I'm going to take out everything out and find a place for it because it probably doesn't belong here like these are more size three diapers so I'm gonna put that away and everything else needs to come out so let's do that this is actually a really it's by hope and plum it's by hope and plum and it's actually like a carrier and I want to start using it so I'm gonna leave this out I'm gonna put it right here because I will you guys will see it I will start using it it was so expensive and it's like plus size that's why I got it this towel can go away all these extra things. I have the, my baby's playing, guys. I gave him a toy, and he's so happy. This outlet, I really do want to use it. I just haven't yet, so I'm going to put it away for now. These shoes are so freaking cute. Actually, maybe I'll put them here, because that's where all of his, like, socks and that kind of stuff is. This is, like, a bag with extra hand sanitizer, so I'm going to put that away. These nipples I don't need there. I do want to keep this munchkin nipple sterilizer here, and this is something that I need to clean, but it's going to stay in there for now. And I do use and reach for these often, so I'm also gonna leave this bag of hand sanitizer there. But this other stuff I'm gonna put away, and then we are done, like a basic clean. I'll do a detail on my own, cause the sun is going away and my baby's getting fussy, and that's all the cleaning I'm doing today because it's done. But nursery tour coming soon. Anyways, let me put this stuff away and I'll give you guys an overview of how the cleaning turns out. I am happy to announce that my nursery's clean. I'm so happy, guys, cause it's been stressing me out. I can't wait to film my nursery tour now. I just want to like fix a few things and make it perfect for you guys stay tuned for that But let me give you guys a quick overview of the after like nice and organized and clean There's my bae too. He's playing with his toy The closet's nice and clean this cart is nice and clean. The drawers are nice and clean. Look how amazing it looks, guys. Anyways, guys, that being said, this baby is done. And I need to go pump and get his milk ready. And it's like seven o'clock. No, it's like six. And it's like starting to go sundown. So that being said, guys, I'm gonna take this little guy, feed him and change him. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And let me know if you guys are excited to see the nursery tour, because I'm excited to film it. And this was like a nice sneak peek, but you'll want to see the nursery tour there's so much more and i'm so excited to show you guys but yeah make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel because your girl is working hard to make these videos for you guys and of course you're gonna see more day in the life with moms and like my newborn baby like subscribe to this cutie he's so cute and i love him so much okay guys anyways i'm gonna go do all those chores and then get to editing this video and i will see you guys in the next vlog okay bye